Hi guys, welcome back to a Juno story. One day I just gotta learn to just say hi and keep it pushing. So, hi. in this video, I am going to share our dinner for the week. Um, I'm always looking for new dinner ideas because Juan and I, we've decided this year that we will not be eating now. It was just our resolution, I guess. It's what we decided to go with. And so far it's been amazing, but that also means that we have to cook all our meals at home. And it hasn't been too challenging because both Juan and I, we do both enjoy cooking. Him a little bit more than me, but we're both equally in the kitchen. It's probably one of our favorite place in the house. To be honest, we spend a lot of time in the kitchen just cooking shit. I wanted to share what we cook and what we ate for dinner this week, starting from Sunday all the way to Saturday. Always try to make a little more for dinner so that tomorrow, so that the next day we have enough to eat for either breakfast or lunch. So that's what we've been doing that's been really helpful. I hope these recipes not really recipes i'll try to link as many recipes as i can below but they're pretty self-explanatory they're things that are fairly easy and quick to make you know for dinner like it's just it's nothing fancy or super healthy i'm just gonna say it right now but it's things that you can maybe get some ideas and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video and bye so today on the menu is broccoli cheddar soup. Um, I'm obsessed with the kind that Panera has. I looked up in re a recipe and I was able to find a super easy one. So I just have everything measured out of what you need. I just find that, you know, putting things ready to go, it's called mise en place. Um, it just helps the cooking process and your kitchen doesn't end up looking crazy while you cook. So I have my pot here and I'm going to get started and start cooking. I do add chicken chunks into my soup as well as boiled potatoes. I just use one potato and I dice them up bite size and I will add them to the soup. This is what it looks like currently. It has the broccoli, the carrots and cheese, all that good stuff. And I like to let it simmer on the stove so that all the flavor and all the veggies gets nice and softly cooked. For tonight, we are doing um, vegetable rice, and we're gonna eat it like a, like a taco type of style. But first, I just fry my veggies like so. I of course have to take out the green bean because I don't like green beans. I missed one. Love this too. Um, I will. Oh my gosh, I just keep finding them. I will let this fry a little bit and then I will show you the end result. So Juan is cooking tonight. We are having um, a beef pot pie, I think it's called. So we just made the beef. It's left over from our meal that we had. We made the mashed potato and he's just going to layer this bad boy up. It's going to be delicious. He also adds eggs in it and cheese. And what else? Um. It's Beef. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. And I just baked it. And then he, oh, and he'll put cheese at the top, and that'll be your dinner for today. Okay. Um. Do you want the thing to be thin or? Okay. So 
So it's been a little while now. Let's check on dinner. Looks and smells good. It just has veggies, cheese, mashed potato, and beef, but it's so yummy. Love that. Okay, so I got my tomato paste, my chickpeas, and my spices in there. Pasta is going. And I'm about to add my tomatoes and hot dogs in here to make my sauce. This is what this looks like. I'm gonna let that marinate and cook together so that all the flavors, you know, in there. Okay, this is what the sauce looks like now. The tomatoes are dissolved. And it's been cooking for about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna let the pasta boil for a little bit longer, maybe five more minutes, and then I'm gonna add it here. And it's, there you go, you have dinner. I had some spinach in the fridge, so I'm gonna add a handful of that into the sauce. It's washed, I'm gonna add it to the sauce. Wa bam. Pop that in there like so la like bit. that cook in there and then we'll check on that in a little bit okay pasta's drained now so i'm gonna add it to the sauce and voila can you help me honey every noodle matters and then i'm gonna just give it a little toss up all the sauce in there. So best way that I found that we actually eat our fruit is if I wash and cut them like this so that they're just ready to go. just grab them and you eat them. But for tonight, we are having some fried plantain, some rice, some black beans, and some broccoli. That'll be tonight's dinner. And avocado of course but I gotta wash those for my broccoli I add a little bit of butter on there and I pop it in the microwave for about three minutes and that's it over here we have our marinated chicken that we prepare on Sundays and we'll have for the week so I'm gonna take my handy dandy air fryer and I'm gonna pop a few pieces in there for our protein. So the marinated chicken already has ibis in it, which is a Haitian spice that has a ton of spices in it. So that's already on there. But when I put it in the air fryer, I had I like to spray it with a little bit of pan in there, not the actual chicken, but just the pan. And I add these on top of it so it's nice and crispy. And voila. Okay, how I will crush the plantain is I just use a tumbler. <laughs> And I just do this and the crush. It's hard to do it with one hand, so you guys get the idea. Like that. You just squish them. You get the day's frustration out on the cute little plantains. I'm gonna put you guys down because I can't do it with one hand, but you get the idea. Now my plantains are all crushed and 
beautiful. I'm going to dip them in salt water. I have a little bit of salt and garlic powder in here and I just dip it in there. And then they'll go back in the pan for about 15 minutes and they'll be ready to go. And just like that, dinner's ready in about 35 minutes. So I'm gonna do that and show you guys the end result. So the chicken and the plantain is done. It looks like that. Over here, I have the beans. You can eat them like this, but because Juan doesn't like the little things, I always, now I'm used to just blending it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna blend it. I'll just do with one hand. I'll just pour it back into here and let it heat up for about four more minutes, not even, maybe three more minutes. And that's it. So this is what the end result looks like. Just like beans, white rice, I have some broccoli, chicken, and some plantains. This is Thursday. So happy Friday for tonight. It's kind of a weird combo. Well, not really weird, it's just chicken sandwiches. We're gonna use Hawaiian sweet rolls, um, monster cheese, and here I have um, the chicken. For you guys, looks like this. You gotta show them what you season it with. Mommy. Mm -hmm. Of course, you gotta have avocado. We're gonna put some tomatoes on there. And then on this side of the kitchen, I'm working on some pound cake. I've been in the mood for it. So that's what I'm gonna make. It's super easy. You just put some water or milk. I'm probably gonna do milk. Um, half a stick of butter, which I have right here. And two eggs, which let me get that out right now. So Juan is cutting up the chicken for our chicken slider thingy that we're doing. The fries are in the air fryer. And I am about to finish mixing this so that it can go in here. But I was showing Instagram. I love nutmeg on all of my baking that I do and vanilla, vanilla extract, so yummy. So this is the Hawaiian bread. Juan is going to um, stuff them with the chicken that he cut. And then once they're done, we're gonna top it off with some tomatoes, cheese, and the fries are in here, which they actually should be pretty much done. This is what that looks like. So yeah, that is dinner for tonight. And right now he is mixing the pound cake for me while I butter this up. And <laughs> he put that down real quick. <laughs> All right, let me wrap up over here. Don't forget the butter. I said you can and I missed it. This is what it looks like. Now it's about to go in the oven. One is getting the cheese ready. Bingo. Bongo. Bingo bongo. Okay, pulling them out of the oven. I'm gonna try not to burn myself. Oh, it looks good then. Oh, you guys hear that cheese sizzling? Yeah. Yummy. So Juan just told me to show the people. So here it is, people. Here it is. I poked it a few times with a knife to make sure the middle was cooked. And it was. So I'm gonna let that cool down. Top it with some strawberries and whipped cream and it'll be delicious. So you preheat the oven for 475 for at least 10 minutes before you put the dough in. That's leftover from last night. It was so good. Yum. But for tonight, we are having homemade pizza. I'll link the recipe we use down below. It's super easy. It's like five ingredients. And then for sauces, this is my favorite sauce that we use. This is the cheese that we're going to use and of course avocado and this is what we're doing for toppings spinach 
some chickpeas and maybe one will put up um, tomatoes on top of his. But right now I'm about to butter the top of the pizza so that it's ready for the toppings and then it's gonna go in the oven. All right, so you guys, this is my pizza. I completely forgot to record it. Um, but I just have the, the pizza sauce, some spinach, um, cheese, and now I'm adding some monster cheese on it. And Juan is doing olive oil on top of this. And that noise in the back is um, a fight to a record. So, yeah. This is fun putting chicken. His pizza. Look how wild his is. And he's putting his avocado before, whereas me, with my beautiful pizza over here, I'm gonna put avocado when it's done. In they go. Bye bye, beauties. I'll set that right there. Was that hot? <laughs> Sucka. So Juan's family likes to put um, eggs in their pizza. So ever since then, it's been like a thing that we do is add eggs to our pizzas, and it's surprisingly really good. Wow, that's a hot egg. He knows it too. He's struggling. Look at him struggling. But yeah, and then I'm going to add some avocados on top of that. Can you guys see the chickpea on there? We're odd with our pizza toppings, but I promise it's delicious. Mm -hmm. I just topped it with parsley and oregano on top. That's it for this week's video. I hope you were inspired or at least got some ideas of new things that you can try to make. Let me know if you guys like these style of videos. I don't really know sometimes what to film. Juan's always on me. You should vlog that. You should vlog that. I'm like, okay. But hopefully you enjoyed and you got some ideas and I will see you next time.